man, when you lose some points in this, you you lose so many more points than you gain. Now I'm back down to 1670. I only have four battles left in the Battle of Hoenn competition. Let's see if I can make all four of these victories. Um, I would love to get over 1700 with my points. And I, I keep winning one and then losing one, then winning one and losing one, which means I'm losing points overall because I'm, I'm not only am I winning against po people with lower points than me, but I'm losing against people with higher points than me. So it's, it's just not a good combination, really. Um, it's taking a little while to find a trainer this time. Uh, are there any Pokemon in this competition that you were surprised to see as much of or or that you were like, for example, in the last video, we got to fight a Pelipper and I had an idea of how to fight it, but since it had the safety goggles, it dodged the spore. So I had to fight around a little bit more. So if you have encountered any other Pokemon like that in this competition, please let me know. It would be really interesting to hear about them. Alrighty, so we are here with Lord. Hmm, we have another Dusclops. That Pokemon is very annoying to deal with. Fortunately, Mega Sableye kind of shuts it down, but even uh, outside of that. I can't really use Mega Sableye. With Gardevoir, I feel like people see Sableye and they immediately choose Gardevoir, which means that I need to start off with Glalie again. Um, Glalie really screws over those dragons quite nicely, which is fantastic, of course. Uh, I think I'm going to go ahead and bring Breloom as well so that I can put the Dusclops, the Metagross, or the Salamence to sleep. I'm faster than all of them, barring a max speed investment on Gyarados' part, which is relatively unusual. And then in my last slot, I think I'm going to go ahead and bring... Hmm... Scarf Latios, I think, is whom I'm going to bring. So... Glalie first, then Breloom, and then Latios. Uh, I just, hold on, we're stretching here. Wow, use the deep breathing like a new leaf trainer. All right, deep breathing, and one, two, three, tweet. All right, we're ready to battle. I have my yoga on. I actually have been trying to do like yoga lately, yoga fire, and it is incredibly difficult. Major props to any of you who do yoga. Just when I'm performing it, it's so difficult to remember to do, breathe, to, to remember to breathe the entire uh, extension of whatever you're performing. Man, oh man, that is that is a trial there. But anyways, though, we once again have the Gardevoir versus Glalie. Um, this is just the best matchup here, because I know that there's nothing he can do to KO me outside of Focus Blast, and no one likes relying on Focus Blast. So we hopefully just get to Mega Evolve again, and hit it with Return, because why not? Uh, maybe he won't be Scarfed, too. That would be interesting. Most Gardevoir are Scarfed, but maybe he won't be. And, oh, he's using Focus Blast. Alrighty then, that's gonna hurt. I don't think it'll kill. Oh man, it killed outright. Man, how did I live a, how did I live a Fire Blast from a Mega Salamence, but I was KO'd by a Focus Blast from a Gardevoir? That doesn't make a lot of sense. Alrighty then. Um, well, I know that he's Scarfed and stuck on Focus Blast. So, let's just go on into Latios and use Draco Meteor. He is definitely stuck in here. And Draco Meteor is the Q. What? He's staying in? I am so confused right now. Okay. Yeah, I'm really, really, really confused. There's a Moody boost again. Oh, yeah, I definitely just lost. He's got a special attack boost. <laughs> I, I don't even know what to say. I definitely just lost this battle. I I didn't expect Focus Blast to KO. I'm confused as how he's faster than me, but he also can switch up moves. And he also KO'd me. I'm so confused right now. Unless I just underestimated Gardevoir completely. Um, okay, sure. Sure, why not? Why not just get swept by a, a God of War? I'm so confused right now. And I'm sure some of you guys are going to be in the comments and tell me what I, I screwed up there. I guess I just, maybe I just lost the speed tide? I'm so confused. I guess I, ha I had to have lost the speed tide. That's the only thing I can think of. I might even miss because of his evasiveness boost. 
Yeah, I don't know. I'm so confused. That sucked. I just threw that battle away completely. Ah, oh boy. That definitely does not bode well for these last three matches here. Um, I think Gardevoir's base speed is 80. And most Gardevoir, unless they're scarfed, they don't... Yeah, I think I just lost the speed tie. I think that's what that came down to. That sucks. Alrighty then. That happened quickly. That was the shortest match I've ever had in this competition. That was, quite frankly, embarrassing. So we're going to move on from that cluster sad... Ah, so many words that I want to use right now. We're going to avoid the profanity because the children are listening, ladies and gentlemen. <sighs> that was just sad. That was sad. I deserve to lose that battle for doing that, sadly, I guess. I don't know. Kind of annoyed over that loss, actually. Uh, work didn't go that great last night, and then I had a battle like that. Come on, I can do better than that. Dang it. I don't understand how I lived... Well, I guess that, that does make sense because Mega Salamis will not fully invest in Special Attack, most likely. Whereas Gardevoir, uh, I think it has base 125 Special Attack. So it has slightly higher Special Attack, and it was probably fully invested. Versus Salamence having a little lower Special Attack and being only partially invested, I guess. That's all I can think of. Dang it, that sucks, though. Ugh. We definitely need to bring Azumarill to this battle, as it can hit every single thing here. Um, don't, huh, Azumarill and L well, I'm hesitant to bring Latios with two fairies. Hmm, Azumarill, Sableye, maybe for burning things? I think he's going to start with Gardevoir. Gardevoir or Blaziken would be good leads in this circumstance. Um, and in that case, I need to start with my Azumarill for sure. But, Azumarill... Hmm. I think I'm gonna bring Breloom, actually. Yeah, because I can outspeed the Mega Mawile and put it to sleep. Uh, and I can mock punch everything there except for Sableye, whom I can also put to sleep. So we're gonna do a zoom roll. Well, do I want to bring? Yeah, let's just do. We're gonna do Glalie and Breloom. All right, that's what we're gonna do. Oh man, that last battle sucked, guys. I'm not. I hate it when I. Gah. I think that that just came down to a speed tie, though. I really do. But you know, you can't focus on those. You have those battles where you do that crappy. Unless you're me, then you have a lot of those. And then you move on. Alrighty, so in this battle, I predict he's gonna start off with either Blaziken or Gardevoir. He starts off with Latios. I'm okay with that, too. Just because I have an assault vest. So I do get a free play rough here. He could switch out into his Mega Mawile, uh, or Blaziken. Mm, I don't think he's going to stay in. In that case, I might want to go for a Waterfall, because Waterfall gets better coverage against his Pokemon he's expecting me to use Play Rough. So, Or I could go for Knockoff, too, actually. We're just going to go for Waterfall, expecting him to switch out, because he can't really touch me. So, Oh, he has Thunder Wave. Shit. Wow, good fucking move. Good. I, I'm sorry I cursed there, but damn. Good move. I didn't even get the attack off anyway, so it wouldn't have mattered if I did freaking predict it, because he got the wonderful paralysis. So he's going to hit me with Psychic. I'm not going to do too much because of my Assault Vest. Hopefully I can get the play rough off. Thank you. And I miss. Thank you. Awesome. That's that's This is going great so far. Play rough again. Please. By all means. Just miss. Thank you. Freak. Hit a move. It didn't even kill. Oh, I would be dead already and wouldn't have... Annoyed. I need to refocus. I need to turn off my anger point. And we need to get back to this battle. Now, is he going to switch out right now? Because he just tried to Draco Meteor. So a switch out would be pretty imminent, I would say. Um, he didn't have any switch-ins to the play rough, though. So I'm just going to keep on using that. <sighs> He's going to go for another Psychic anyway. So whatever. Whatever. I had no reason to switch out my Zoom roll. That's what was pure frustration, I guess. Thank you for not missing that one, Azumarill. Thank you for taking all this unnecessary damage, basically. Uh, I, it, I guess I technically got one of those turns back since he used Draco Meteor. But if he had tried to use Draco Meteor anyway, then I would be one turn ahead instead of being uh, back at normal. He does go out into Blaziken, which is whom I want to see. Because he has Blaziken and I have my Breloom. So if I can get off one Aqua Jet here, then I can definitely finish it off with a Mach Punch. Which would be nice. He's going to protect though. Oh, he didn't even protect? 
Okay, that's kind of ballsy. Oh, Thunder Punch. He just wanted to get me right out of there. Okay, then. That's fine by me. Azumarill, I'm... You did a good job there. Thank you for working through the paralysis. Because <laughs> I know that that was, that was annoying for me, but I'm not even the one paralyzed, Azumarill. It was you. It was that set of pixels on the screen that had a, a status effect programmed onto it. It was not me. I am fully functional. So now I just get the Mach Punch. Hooray. Now, if I do Mach Punch, he could go out into a Breloom. I mean, not his own Breloom, but rather his Sableye. And if he does that, I get to spore it. Uh, so I don't mind that at all. Mach Punch, baby. Boom. I feel like I chose the right Pokemon for this battle. Let's see what his last Pokemon is. And the answer, everything he had was generally slower than my Breloom except for like Gardevoir. And it's, oh, it's Gyarados. Awesome. Not only do I get to Rock Tomb this, but I can also um, put it to sleep. Cause he lowered my attack. So I don't really want to stay in to hit him too much here. Plus Rock Tomb him first. Um, just to make sure he's slower than Gilly Lee in, ca uh, in case he do does exactly what he's doing right now, that is. Um, he's probably just going to hit me with an Ice Fang, actually, then. There's the Mold Breaker. Alrighty, so I just made sure he was slower, at least, at the very, very least. Uh, hmm. I feel like I should have... Oh, that might not kill. Oh, sweet goodness and gravy. We're going out to Glalie. Hopefully I get a good moody boost too. Come on back, Breloom. Well, I just realized I said sweet goodness and gravy. I, I say strange things when I'm not. <laughs> it's like, it's just like sometimes when I'm narrating, my, my mouth gets ahead of my brain, which is also the reason for me to curse. But oh, my evasiveness fell, my accuracy rose. That was relatively useless. Um, I don't expect him to have anything to hit me with. I guess he could use Stone Edge. Um, I don't think Gyarados would run Stone Edge, honestly. Uh, I don't think he gets Rock Slide. I need to make sure. Just really quickly here. Gyarados. 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 If he does get, uh, I'm pretty sure he gets Stone Edge. Right? You get Stone Edge. He does get Stone Edge. All right, do you get Rock Slide? I'm running out of time. I don't think he gets Rock Slide. That would be nice because he can get he could use some pair of flinching shenanigans. But he doesn't. He does not get Rock Slide. So if he goes for Stone Edge here, that's gonna suck because it'll kill me. Um, I'm just gonna go for Return, hoping that he doesn't have that move. Hopefully, I actually probably should have exploded. I'm not sure. That's a hard thing to say because I'd rather go for a Return and Ice Shard sometimes. But explosion is just so nice. Oh, I'm still faster. Wow, he's a really bulky Gyarados. I definitely should have exploded. That's okay. He's using Earthquake. So we that means I get to explode this turn. I'm happy I didn't explode. Yep, I didn't think that would KO me. Haha. -ha. Take this explosion, son. Glalie! Use explosion! Glalie! What? What if when you use explosion it had that fantastic animation and then it just went just a simple noise <laughs> would have hit the opponent. That would be entertaining. Um, that was a really bulky Gyarados, I gotta say. Uh, so what is his last Pokemon? It was, uh, I don't remember. I actually don't remember. Oh, he disconnected. I think I won. Oh, really? You, you uh, asshole. If you disconnect, you're a loser, basically. There's no point in disconnecting. There just isn't. It's number one is just the game. Number two, if you lost, if you disconnect, it still was recorded as a loss for you. So there's no point in disconnecting at all. It doesn't really save you anything. It still uses up the battle that you did. You're just wasting your opponent's time, basically. First time I'm facing an X spot in this battle, though. That's interesting. Um. Hmm. Hmm. I really like Glalie here for three of his Pokemon being weak to ice. I also like the idea that I could burn four of his Pokemon and have them be completely neutered. That's kind of cool. So right now I'm thinking Glalie, Sableye, and hmm, 
He does have two fairies, so I don't know if I want to bring Latias. Whaley, Sableye. Let's go Glalie, Sableye, and Azumarill. That way I can start off. No? Hmm. Fighting type moves would be nice against Expel, but Expel's not that fast. Hmm. We're gonna go Glalie, Sableye, and. I think let's we're gonna go with Alakazam. I haven't used him in a while. Plus he can hit everything that he has there except for the X Bot super effective. So I I'm okay with that outcome. And if I burn some of his stuff, then I can switch back in Glalie too. So hopefully this guy doesn't disconnect. That's also the nice thing about live narrating. If someone disconnects, you can still get the you can still get the match, essentially. You can still get the content, I guess is what I'm saying. Um so he's gonna start off with his Breloom. And what do I want to do here? I could go out into my Sableye and get take the spore on Sableye. He might try to mock punch me as well. I'm faster than him though. And mock punch won't kill. Or is he gonna try to spore me? That's the question. Okay, we're just gonna go ahead and mega evolve and use return. Um, just to guarantee that I get him down to his sash, because Mach Punch cannot KO me. So we're gonna go with that. Man, I hate that the the one guy that brought a Glalie didn't use it. That would have been nice to have Mega Glalie versus Mega Glalie. Ah, uh, well. So okay, I get to knock him down to his sash, which is very, very nice. And there's the sash. And what's he gonna go for? Spore, as I thought. That's fine. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to... Is he going to mock punch me or is he going to expect me to switch? I, he should expect me to switch here. So in that case... Hmm, what's he expecting me to switch to though? I think he's going to, he's either going to Mach Punch or Rock Tomb. And I don't want Alexam hit by a Rock Tomb. So I'm going to go out into the Sableye, hoping to dodge a Mach Punch. I don't think he's going to Spore again. I think he's just going to attack. Uh, and then I can burn him. He might actually try to put me to sleep again after I burn him, which would be annoying. Oh, he went for Swords Dance. That's scary. Sweet. So um, I'm definitely going to have to hope that I hit this Will-O-Wisp here. So we're going to go straight for the Will-O-Wisp. Don't miss. Thank you, sir. Get that Breloom up. Burn it. And he's probably just going to attack, actually. Yep, here's the Bullet Seed. So that uh, Swords Dance is essentially offset by the burn. So he's back at his neutral attack. Hopefully he only gets a couple of hits. Awesome, he only got two. And now he dies to the burn. And now I get to see his second Pokemon. Now he knows two of mine. Information is so important in these uh, three on three battles because you have a very limited amount of stuff that you're working with. He goes out into Exploud, and normally Exploud would not be a problem for Sableye, but Exploud now gets Scrappy uh, as a hidden ability, which means he can blow things away even when they're ghost types. Kind of annoying, honestly. Um, I don't know how much damage to expect from him. I kind of just want to burn him, honestly, to make sure I have some residual damage. And I have Calm Mine, but I don't know if he, is, especially if he specs, I don't know if I'll be able to weather how much damage he's putting out. Uh, let's see here. I guess let's just go for a will o so I can put some damage on him. Um, hopefully I don't miss. Hopefully he doesn't have a Lumberry or anything like that. So he's gonna get burned. Boom burst, here it comes. How much damage will it do though? I'm not even specially defensive, so. Nope, not even close to living that. All right, so I do get the nice residual damage off from um, him being burned. And I get to live two hits from him because of Alakazam's Focus Sash. And so I get to go for two Psychic type attacks, which is nice. Uh, I wonder who his last Pokemon is, because that'll really decide this one. I hate to reveal that I have Alakazam, but I don't want to use Glalie when uh, he might have one of his two dragons in the back. So here's the next Boom Burst. 
That's gonna take me down to my sash very easily. Boom Burst has a really cool animation. Wow, he got a crit. He killed zero Alakazams with a crit. And now I'm gonna finish him off with one more Psychic. Or, yeah, one more Psychic. Let's just go for Dazzling Gleam on the off chance that he thinks he can switch into Latios here. I think a Dazzling Gleam will still kill from that range, I'm pretty sure. If not, then he will die to the burn at the end of the turn. We're gonna go for Dazzling Gleam, just in case he tries to switch out. All right, and that'll be the end of x -Pod. Now I get to see his last Pokemon, finally. And this will determine who wins this battle, because my Glalie is very much asleep. He is very snoozy, snoozy, woozy. Oh, sweet, it's Salamence. Unless it's Scarf Salamence, I outspeed it, and I can hit it with a Dazzling Gleam. Um, which is also nice. So, Dazzling Gleam. He's gonna go ahead and Mega Evolve there, which is good. That means I'm insured to get off the Dazzling Gleam because he can't be Scarfed if he's holding that Mega Stone. Wow, you can have a Scarf Mega Rayquaza. I just realized that. That's a bit much. Come on, Game Freak. All right, so he's definitely in range of an Ice Shark. He goes for Dragon Dance. Crap. That's definitely a Crapola moment there. Uh, Cause I should be able to live any one hit with Glalie, even with him Dragon Danced up. Um, especially since he's using Return, I should be able to live one hit with Mega Glalie, and then hope it's just whether or not I wake up, really, unfortunately. Alrighty, uh, because I haven't burned any sleep turns at all. So I have to sleep for one turn. And here's the... It doesn't matter what I go for, because I have to sleep for one turn. Here's one. Z, Z, Z. And number two, here's a return. I should def I should live, but I don't know. Nope. Wow. Man, we are on a major losing streak today, folks. I was doing so well the other two days, too. And now, these today, I've just done nothing but lose. Which is crappy. But, you know, you can't do anything about it, really. You can just try to play better. I would have liked to have counted that one victory that I had, but that butthole disconnected. Um, I think I'm down to my last battle here. This is the last battle. Wow, so I'm actually not going to start a new part just for this last battle. Uh, we're just going to finish this on off. <sighs> this person loves Mamoswine, apparently. I'm down. I'm at 29. That is just not good at all. I barely won any battles today. Wow, and this is a really interesting team. He has Crobat and Kingdra, Slacking and Agron. Uh, as I was talking about with Guy, Slacking is not to be underestimated. Uh, interesting that he brought Kingdra. I wonder if it's like the Sniper Focus Energy set or if it's uh, if it sets up its own rain and tries to sweep. That's probably a Scarf Gardevoir. And if I had to guess, it's probably a Mega Aggron. I don't think he's going to bring Aggron because I have Breloom. Breloom actually handles three of his Pokemon, and I can also put the Kingdra to sleep. Although Kingdra has base 80 speed, so it is faster, so he might just punch me in the face with an Ice Beam. Oh, I guess that'd be an Ice Punch. Whatever. I don't care. Um... Hmm... I will say Breloom is a lock for this battle. Azumarill is okay. I don't like dealing with Crobat. That makes me want to bring Glalie, but Glalie can't do anything to... Well, I can Earthquake Mega Aggron, so Glalie's not too bad. Um, let's see. I only have 30 seconds left here to decide. So yeah, I think he's going to start off with Crobat, which means I need to start with Glalie. And then from there, Breloom, and hmm, I think Azumarill is a good choice here, because he can't KO me with one hit from Crobat either if I run into that situation. And also gives me a little bit of insurance against water and dragon type moves from Kingdra. So yeah. Oh, I think Kingdra's base speed, I remember it being higher than base 80, it must be base 85. Hmm. So here's my Glalie, and he starts off with Gardevoir. Good. I wonder if I should switch out expecting Focus Blast. That would be annoying if you went for Focus Blast. <laughs> so he traces my Moody. Um, if he goes for Focus Blast... No, no, I believe in you, Glalie. I have faith in you. We're going to go for a return. Mega Evolve once again. Uh, hopefully he just doesn't go for Focus Blast. I don't know. That's such a crappy thing to lose a battle over as a Speed Tie. But you... Ah, uh, Speed Tie, Shmeed Tie. Glalie, this is our final battle for the Battle of Hoenn. You and me, buddy. If you knock out this Gardevoir right here and now, then I will treat you to uh, a Castellia Cone. Or do you? I don't know if you want 
frozen treats because that's what you eat all the time. Maybe you'd like something hot and spicy. I don't know. Let just let after you win this battle, you and I can meet up. We'll talk it over. How's that? Uh, we see Agron coming in. I am fine by that. That means I'm not getting focus blasted in the face. And I can him with the quad super effective uh, earthquake, of course. Now he's probably gonna mega evolve, which means I need to switch out. Um, if he's mega evolving and going for, um, what's it called? Uh, if he's mega evolving and going for an iron head, then a zoom roll could switch in here. No, it can't, because if he's mega evolving, he just turns into a pure steel type. So, hmm. I think the best thing here is actually going to be to go out in a Breloom, because I can definitely live any one hit from him unless he goes for Ice Punch, which I don't think he's going to do. And I could Earthquake here, but I'm just not feeling like it'll do much after he Mega Evolves. So let's just go on to Breloom and expect him to go for Iron Head as he Mega Evolves up as well. This is the first Mega Aggron I faced. Interesting. Um, there aren't that many Steel types in the Hoenn region, but Mega Aggron is not to be slept on. He is incredibly bulky with that base 230 defense. Good grief. He went for Heavy Slam. Okay, that might kill me. Oh, it didn't kill. Alrighty, good job, Breloom. Really hung in there, buddy. Now we get to go for Spore and put him to sleep. Uh, and then just go for repeated mock punches to wear him down. Then I can switch back into Mega Glalie and Earthquake him. It'd be cool if I could finish him off before he woke up. That would be cool. So there he just burned one turn of sleep. Just stay asleep, son. You know you want to. Time for some mock punch. Action. Action on. And there's one mock punch that should put him around half. It did not even put him at half. And that was a crit. Holy crap. No wonder he didn't kill me. It looks like he's... I feel like he's max invested in defense. That's... That seems like um, a bit of overkill. But sure. Here's another mock punch. Okay. Is he going to wake up? He woke up. Here comes a heavy slam. Oh boy. Well, that's going to be it for Breloom. Breloom, buddy. Thank you very much for that. That was your last appearance in the Battle of Poen, for sure. And since he's going for heavy slams, I feel like I have to go into a zoom roll here and try to flinch him with a waterfall. Uh, I also don't think a heavy slam will kill. It does do neutral damage. But since he's so defensive, I don't think it'll kill, and I have a chance to flinch. So I think that's better than going out in the Glalie and trying to hit it with an earthquake. So he is faster, which is surprising. Invested in speed, maybe? I'm not sure. Um, here's my waterfall. This is good because now I get to get off a waterfall and maybe... Uh, no, I can't risk an Aqua Jet from that range. Or can I? That's really close. Um, wow, I'm surprised he's so fast. What's Mega Aggron's base speed? I thought it gets slower. Azumarill roll I think has 50 speed. I'm, I'm interested. I actually am. I know Aggron's slow. I just haven't looked at his speed before. Before Mega Evolving, the... Uh, the regular form can run a rock polar set to some success. So after he mega evolves, his speed goes down to, oh, is that 50 either way? So that actually might be a speed time. I'm just gonna go for a waterfall again. That way if I live, I can ensure a KO. Okay, he's just gonna go for heavy slam again. Maybe he won't knock me out. Min max damage. Nope, he does knock me out. That's fine. I should. I guess I should have gone for the aqua jet, but I couldn't have risked it really. Uh, I would rather have the insured KO, because either way, I would have to come in with Glalie and use Earthquake, which is, that is what it is, I guess. So, we're just gonna go for Earthquake now, and that'll definitely finish him off with that small amount of HP. I'm really impressed with how well he was taking those hits. Um, I wonder if he has any speed investment to outspeed Azumarill. I'm pretty sure Azumarill also has base 50 speed. Um, I guess I can check that out right now, I don't know. I don't know, I don't even know. Okay, so here's Crobat. I get to use some nice ice type moves against him. Uh, I guess he could have Steel Wing. I I doubt it, as Greg Miller would say. But I, I'm just gonna go for a return. Cause there's, I don't think he can KO me. He's just gonna go for Brave Bird, fantastic. Um, either way, I should be able to take it. Ow, that did a lot of damage, good grief. Shiny Crobat is really ugly, folks. Very, very ugly. I'm gonna finish him off with that return there. And then his last is Gardevoir. So let's find out if his Gardevoir is scarfed or not, because if it's scarfed, I lose. If it's not scarfed, um, I don't actually know. 
Either way, we're going for Explosion, because this is the final match. I don't care. It's Explosion time. He is Scarf. We don't get a chance to explode. Unfortunately, I lost a lot of battles today, folks. I lost one third of my battles today. That's really sad. Uh, but whatever. I had fun. That was a good competition overall. Um, I do think there were some battles where I lost because I played poorly, but I also had just so many battles where I lost because of crappy things like Confusion. Dang it. So that is the end. Let me see if it'll let me keep battling. Nope, I have participated in the max battles. So that is gonna be it for the Battle of Hoenn competition. I hope you guys enjoyed this series of videos. I would, if you guys really enjoy this, please leave a like on the video. I need to know if I should bother doing these, if this is something you would like to see for uh, future competitions that Nintendo has. If you enjoyed it, you gotta leave that like or at least put a comment let me know that you enjoyed it, what you enjoyed about it, um, or if there's anything you want me to change in the future. I am very open to switching things up and doing what you guys want me to do, uh, as long as it's something feasible. So just let me know, and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye-bye now.